Right, so we're switching gears now. It was a little bit chilly, but guess what? I see like the bar graph yes. going up behind you. <laughs> You've been seeing those graphics I've been making, yes. so we'll turn more seasonable, I promise, as we head into the upcoming work week. But it was a Sunday chill that we dealt with out there today. 45, the official high. The average for this time of year is 56. We were below that. We'll be below average tomorrow, and then slowly but surely we will be climbing as we head throughout the week. Looking at currents right now, we're at 42 degrees in the city. It is right around 40 41 in Glen Burnie, 41 degrees in Pasadena. We are in the 30s for areas like Westminster, Franklin, Eldersburg, Manchester, Thurmont, and Elkton there in Cecil County. Shout out to our friends up there. It's 42 degrees and it's 42 also in Rock Hall. Here's that graph that uh, Abajoy was talking about. Look at these numbers starting to climb, climb, climb. 56 by Tuesday, mid 50s, and then eventually we're into the upper 50s, above average for a change as we head into Friday temperature wise. All right, looking at satellite and radar there's a little sliver of high pressure in between two systems okay we have a coastal low offshore of the Carolinas and Virginia and then another uh, upper level system you follow this dashed line it's called a trough it's located in the upper uh, levels of the atmosphere and this combined with the low is going to bring us the chance for a little bit of drizzle and definitely the cloud cover as well as a shower or two it'll at least enhance some of the moisture already in place so a couple of um, showers and some drizzle around on Monday then gradual clearing as we head into Monday night and Tuesday morning and then beyond that temperatures will be trending more seasonal. So what does your Monday look like as we fast forward in time? Notice lots of clouds out there. I would expect some drizzle, at least in pockets, pretty much any time throughout the morning and throughout the day. The best chance for some of the heavier showers will be from I-95 in areas east, areas that are closer to that low that's located offshore. But it's going to be pulling away, and then we'll start to get that clearing taking place overnight, and then high pressure will return and bring us some good sunshine as we head into Tuesday. Overnight, again, a stray sprinkle possible. We drop into the 30s, 36 degrees overnight for Baltimore. Tomorrow, mostly cloudy, shower, a little bit of drizzle. You can look for a high temperature of 48 degrees. Now, tomorrow's going to be the last day of the week that we have temps that are in the 40s. Then some major improvement heads our way as we make our way into Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, 59. We are going to have a good amount of clouds around at times throughout the week, so we can't say we're going to have a totally sunny day. But overall, I'll take anything when we're talking about temperatures that are above average I mean Friday 59 sounds really nice right about now those look like really good running days mm -hmm. so there's oh, a that's cue. your kind of thing <laughs> there you go